Ireland has been at the centre of aircraft leasing industry since the 1970s, with the establishment of Guinness Peat Aviation in 1975. It has retained its position as global leader since that point in time, to the extent that now, every two seconds, an aircraft which is owned by an Irish leasing company takes off around the globe. It has fundamentally changed the way in which airlines do business, in that it no longer requires the large capital investment from an airline to acquire an aircraft, and what they can do instead is lease aircraft on a short-term basis, thus freeing up capital for investment elsewhere. And you may ask why Ireland has managed to maintain its position as a global leader in the aviation leasing industry. Primarily, our tax status is very beneficial and favourable to establishing leasing companies in Ireland. We have a low level of corporation tax. We also have an extensive double tax treaty network, which reduces withholding tax on lease rentals to zero in respect of maybe 70 plus countries worldwide. With the success of the aircraft leasing industry in Ireland, it has enabled an ecosystem to have developed alongside this a legal infrastructure tax and also technical which has enabled large leasing companies to have grown significantly over the last 10 to 20 years. In Ireland the industry body Aircraft Leasing Ireland has established a charter which aims to effectively lead the industry to a low carbon future. All the stakeholders within the industry understand the need to reduce carbon emissions in line with the stated industry goal of net zero by 2050. Mason, Hayes and Kern will be there to support our clients and other stakeholders as the industry evolves throughout this period.